just a stock over here. So we are just a stock over here, which I don't like, which I really, really, really don't like. You cannot stay in this lane. You have to move every time it failed from version 12. It failed every single day. You not calculate there is a parked car right over there. So it's going super close to that car and I don't like it. So I had to disengage and the car makes so many mistakes. Navigate us on that stop sign keeps and take so much time exactly in this area to creep. And it takes probably seven seconds to move forward. If I was driving, I would just make a U-turn to go and navigate us on that route but because of FSD the car probably doesn't know how to make you turn in every road I saw you know, left as I told you like it's taking too long to decide or to see left and right because there is hello everyone we're back with another full self-driving video and let's see how the car handles to get out from my parking lot okay it's going super close to that car and i don't like it so i had to disengage and engage it again let's see yeah the very first moment it cannot calculate there is a parked car right over there so we'll see how the car handles this one so i just engaged the car is stopped it's still there and now we decided to proceed guys also guys if you guys are new in this channel make sure to subscribe to our channel because in this channel we're going to talk about fsd and we're going to talk about tesla and full self-driving and so much more things so don't forget to subscribe guys we will make a right turn right over here the car was very close to this car when passing that uh just probably just uh, one fit and let's see how our car handles this one we're gonna make a right turn decided to go a little bit of hesitation because of there is another truck behind us right over there uh it was also coming from it was parked and then it started moving but our car hesitated a little bit then it decided to go because that car was not fast so our car just proceed and we'll see how the car handles this one also guys i just want to mention right over here the car makes so many mistakes navigate us on that stop sign it always goes here like exactly there and then reroute us but without getting any software update uh yesterday video i published it did it right it was learned probably from previous version not previous version i'm sorry it should learned from uh i test it the car uh two times on this version 12.3.4 that i turn on is my indicator and told the car you should just go here so it did that yesterday but we'll see if the car can handle this one today there are other cars in our left the car should just moved into this lane to navigate us through this stop sign but still the car didn't so we'll see how the car handles this one it should change the lane uh probably will never get there i guess uh there are other cars in our back and we'll see how the car can you do it um mm, 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 mm. Yeah, there are other cars. Now we decided to change the lane and at the very last moment. Nope. As I told you guys, it did it yesterday. If you go to my channel and look into my channel yesterday video, you'll see the car handle that perfectly. But today it cannot do it again because it decided to change the lane at the very last moment. Again, hesitation to change the lane. Uh, it was trying to get into this yellow mark lane and then again decided not to get in and now it decided to get in and stay there because there are other cars coming from that side so we have to wait until all those car pass and then we can make that left turn let's see how the car handles this left turn so yes there is no other car you can make that left perfectly very nice very nice and we'll see again so what i'm gonna do is navigate us out from here navigate us out from here and we'll see if the car can you know take that exact route again so okay okay
we're gonna make a left here but also you guys will see something very interesting so we stop right we should creep a little bit to see our left and right but we'll see our car creeps and take so much time exactly in this area to creep and it takes probably seven seconds to move forward which is uh very bad because it, like there is no camera on our bumper right in Chuck, um, uh, in X, Chuck talk about uh, that bumper camera, that if we had bumper camera, then the car just creeps a little bit. It can easily see left and right and then proceed. But because we have camera on our B pillar, that's why we can't see until we move our car all the way middle of the intersection and then we can see. So what we can do is again, I'll tell the car to come here. Let's see if the car can handle this one, making a U-turn probably. We'll see if the car can handle this one. So for some reason, we're slowing down here. We should just move. Okay, it's just saying, okay, I'm just gonna take over right now and we'll see how the car handles this one. I just took over. We'll make a U-turn by myself. No, I'm not gonna make a U-turn. Uh, we'll just, you know, give the car to make it. Let's go, yes. It make that left turn perfectly. Like if I was driving, I would just make a U-turn to go and navigate us on that route. But because of FSD, the car probably doesn't know how to make U-turn in every road. I saw YouTube videos in some road the car can make U-turn if the road is narrow enough. But here, exact on this road, the car cannot make a U-turn. So it was navigate us from here. So we'll see. So we'll make a left turn here again. There is no stop, but we definitely have to stop to look on our left. As I told you, like it's taking too long to decide or to see left and right because there is no camera on our bumper. So the car have to go a certain limit in that intersection to see left and right through that um, uh, B pillar camera. So we'll, we're gonna make a right turn here. As you guys can see, um, after all this car pass, from our left the car should just proceed right now the car proceed very slow a little bit slow and the light just changed so we have to stop here so as I told you guys so that's the main issue I always face that here on this stop sign you cannot stay in this lane you have to move on that left lane and then you have to change another lane to get into that left turn lane and then you make that left turn it's not a left turn it's just like merging into left so but you know like the car is hesitating here and there to get in and at the very last moment it decided to change like it's slowing down right there is other car if you know like you have to go there you have to speed up merge change lane like you'll see you'll see what i'm saying so now we should be there we should be there and our car not trying to change the lane and there is other car over there so you know it's just we're just stuck over here so we are just stuck over here which i don't like which i really 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 don't like because when you're navigating us like right now it's just uh, rerouting us on that road so it cannot do it again it cannot do it again. Very, very frustrating. So we should get into this lane right now to make a left. And that guy just gave us a honk. For some reason. For some reason. I have to charge my phone. We're gonna make a left here. Nicely done. Yep, 
Yeah, guys, so that's very frustrating that the car cannot do it still now. It did it yesterday, I'm telling you. Every time it failed from version 12, it failed every single day. Yesterday it did it for somehow. I really don't know how it did it. So it's just making a right turn for some reason. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is go to our home again and navigate us over there. We'll see. We'll definitely see how the car handles this one. So, yep, I just turn on uh, FSD again. I have to turn on my 360 camera to look how it's looking right now. And this is a very narrow road, as you guys can see. We'll see how the car handles this one. It's going a little fast to my taste because you're gonna make a left, immediate left and there are other cars parked on our road. So I don't support. Nicely done. It was hesitating a little bit um, like while making this left turn. I was just looking in my camera and what happened? Is there no other camera over here? I have to check. Um, okay. Wow. So for some reason guys, my this camera looks black. So what I'm gonna do is get out from this car and look if the cam camera is still in outside there. So I have to stop. Um, I'm so sorry guys, it's just something that we can deal with it, right? So let's see, let's really, really see. So we're gonna park behind that blue car. It shouldn't fall because I can see that um, so what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take over. Turn on FSD, we'll see how the car handles. We should just merge right now. Very nice job, nice, nice, nice job. Yep, so as I told you guys, the car failed two times. Exactly, yesterday did it. Exact location, just go to my channel, watch the previous video. And we'll find exact location the car did that perfectly but today i don't know sunny weather weather like previous day and you know probably the lighting condition you guys can mention like the light is probably different but you know it is what it is guys the car should navigate there is no cloud it's not raining you can clearly see those lane mark but it's still the car is failing which i really really don't like so what we have to do is get into on yellow mark lane and then make a left to proceed to our navigation. So let's see how the car handles this one. Should be perfect, should be perfect because version 12.3 and through 3.4 seems very nice to me, this kind of situation while you, didn't, you need to get into yellow mark lane and make a left. As you guys can see that car perfectly make that left and we're gonna make a left turn here. So let's see, yup. Perfectly done, very nice. And thank you so much for watching guys. And I really appreciate your time. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day. But one more thing guys, we're gonna see if the car can park in front of my driveway. Every time it can, but let's see if it can this time. So it's just proceeding, nope, 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 it cannot. It's trying to park in front of my neighbor house, which I don't like. So what do you have to do? Go back, go back, learn where you should park. Yep, right over here. You should park here. You should park here no matter what, okay? Thank you so much guys again, and I really love you guys and appreciate that. Don't forget to subscribe and tell me what you feel about this video. Have a wonderful day.